Hey y'all, it's Ebony, and I'm here to do a video that I have been asked to do for literally a year now. So here I am with my about my locks. Now I didn't blog about this or make any videos about this when I initially did my locks because I felt like it was a journey I needed to go through completely on my own. That's no offense to anybody at all. I just felt like there were things that I needed to understand about my own hair, especially going from having loose natural hair to locks. And it was a transition I wanted to do by my lonesome. Now that I've had some time to grow through it, I've decided to come to you all and give you some tips and tricks on how I keep my hair, how I maintain it, how I style it, blah, 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 blah. So I have questions here that I either consistently get asked or some of you who follow me on Instagram submitted your questions to me. So we're gonna get into it. I started my locks after having already 10, almost 10 years of natural growth. So I also did cut my hair in between that time. So these are what my locks look like now a year later. They come about down to maybe here. So that's right, my collarbone is right here. So my hair comes down to when it's stretched, maybe right under my collarbone. Locks do shrink, so my hair was longer before I got locks. And then of course, for those of you who don't know, shrinkage is a real thing. That doesn't change when you lock your hair. So this is what it looks like just out. <laughs> I just want to put out a disclaimer that I didn't start locks because I hated my natural hair. I just felt like I got to a certain point with my natural hair where I wasn't wearing it out or enjoying it nearly as much as I had wanted to because I always had it under braids. And then when I did have it out, I always felt this underlying pressure to have it be perfect all of the time. For those of you who don't know, in the black community, natural hair is often looked at as a really great thing or a pretty bad thing. I can't really say I've ever really heard of an in-between. A lot of women have to deal with some pretty conniving comments about their natural hair. And while I did get those and I did experience those, I never really let them sway me, but I did always have a pressure that made me feel like I had to have my hair be perfect at all times. And it was just a really tiring process. I felt like I didn't get to enjoy my hair. So next best thought was, why don't I get locks and enjoy my hair that way? I have worn wigs over my locks and I have worn crochet braids over my locks as well. That will also be another video because I think that deserves to be a completely separate conversation, but I do style it by either doing protective styles like faux locks, I have done faux locks over top of these, so crochet braids or wigs. <laughs> I've had my locks for one year now. It was a year on March 2nd, which was crazy. I couldn't believe how quickly the time went. And when I started my locks, I can't really say I expected them to look like this in a year, but I am really happy with how they look. Now, this is also another video that I'm gonna have to do. Like, damn, just the amount of videos I'm gonna have to do. Cause you guys deserve to have more in-depth information and I don't really want this video to be a long, drawn out one. I'll do, I'd rather do it in segments. The shampoo and conditioner that I use are the Intensive Hydration ones by Shea Moisture. I find that they really do a good job at cleaning my hair, but then also making sure that it keeps that hydration. With locks, especially because I'm only at one year, some of them still do get loose sometimes because I have really Really soft hair so I have to be careful to make sure I'm not using too many conditioning products that'll actually loosen the lock right now but those are my favorite shampoo and conditioner for my for my locks I like to use rose water on a day-to-day -day basis just a quick spritz aloe vera gel hundred percent love aloe vera gel and um, wild growth hair oil is what I use in my scalp with a mixture of a couple of different oils so I'll definitely get more into the products that I use in a different video. This retwist was done about about a month ago, I want to say now. I usually try to get a retwist every six to eight weeks. 
The last time I got a retwist, I actually ended up waiting about three months because I had crochet braids on top of these. So it definitely gives me some time in between retwists, but ultimately four or six to eight weeks is how long I try to wait before I get any retwists. I haven't actually worn my hair out I usually actually keep it in like a cute little bun so I do a bunch of little styles you could do like a half up half down you could do all down you could do all up usually like day to day I'm throwing it in a bun and I'm moving on which is part of the reason why I love locks because there's really no real real maintenance but yeah I wear it in a bunch of different styles just to try and keep it fresh, especially because I mentioned I like to change my hair a lot. But that's just a quick little update on what my hair is looking like after one year. I definitely am going to keep making more videos, so make sure you guys stay tuned because all of those videos that I listed I need to be doing. I promise you I will be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed my little lock update. Thanks for watching. <laughs>